So apart from being hit by a stick this morning, I got a phone call last night off my pal saying that his mum's wall has been hit. So I'm going to shoot down to Mersey Island in Essex, go and check it out. I'm here now at the job and I found the offender. Here we go. They pushed it back up into place, but this is what I've got to repair. A little bit knocked down here. It doesn't look like we've got any snapped bricks, which is a good sign. Oh, look at that, look. That's the only brick that's got a chip on it. We'll get away with that face, if I'm careful. Doesn't look like I've got to buy anything other than a bit of sand and cement. Sand and cement, right. What do we reckon for that? I'm going to count up the bricks now, figure out how many bricks it is. So I know from the video I did before, but leave a link in the description up here how many bricks you get per gauge. So I'll let you watch that video to find out. That's how I work out how many bags of sand I'm going to need to fix this little job. My face, look, the stick. The stick got me. Oh, yes. Tricky Bricky's got the job. Giving her a price. She's happy with it. I'll let you know what the price is at the end. But first, Tricky's going to go and get some sand and some cement. And it's just about bruh, 70, 80 bricks. So I should be able to get this with one gauge. I'm going to get four bags of sand, one bag of dust. See how we get on. Just come to the little local, the local little wholesaler of Mersey. This place is legendary. Fred's DIY. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's not the cheapest of places in the world because, like, it's not in a big town. There's not a lot of like, traffic here, so there's not a lot of jobs that's, that happen on this island, really. So the price of things are a little bit more expensive, but it's well handy. It saves me driving 10 miles back to town, 10 miles back for the sake of like 50p extra on things. So it's worth just coming down here. For instance, then I've got three bags of sand and a bag of dust. Cost me 21 quid. Um, I had an, I had another bag. I need four, but I had, a, I had a bag already. So that was handy. One left over from the last job. Right. Speaking of jobs, let's get back there. Get banging around and get this stuff all cleaned up and ready to roll. Right then. Let's get this thing taken down. <laughs> managed to keep the top all in one piece no cracking everything with all this creasing tile a lot it's all been cleaned up so i'm going to bed that on like a slab at the top at the end uh all the brickwork i'm just going to do at this but this bit i'm going to bed on at the end well we are getting through the cleaning up process nicely what's even nicer tricky bricky's got a club biscuit go on and a hot cross bun Ta -da! Luckiest bricklayer in the country right here. There we go then. I've taken this down, all the way down. Took all of the muck off of it so it's back down to the bare brick. These little bits I can get over with the muck, they're only shallow. But now we can go across here. Now that I've got all of this off, I can start rebuilding it again. I've got my bricks cleaned up now. We're all ready to roll. So I'm gonna knock up a gauge. Get him a Gorilla type with my whisk. Knock up a quick gauge. Here we go, there's my mix, all in there, nicely mixed up. Happy days, we'll get on here now, get this built. So the easiest way for me to do this is to gauge it round from this brick here. So I'll get my muck on. Now, something strange here, it starts with a three quarter this time. We use a three quarter every now and then to get our piers right. I'll be gauging off of this brick and then we're leveling it this way. So we are starting with a three quarter here. It will all become clear in a minute. It's three quarter, three quarter. Like so. Then a full brick that way. So now I've laid the bricks, I'm quickly just levelling them round, making sure they're nicely aligned. 
and I'll be getting ready then to lay some more across the back. two full bricks and that brings us back on there And now you can see the next brick will go over the top of the two three quarters and across the stretcher which I've just laid, then it is all bonded in correctly. It's nice, that's the first course down. Good. Yep. First one down. So now I'm just going to continue going round like that and I'll get that right the way up, back up to the top again. almost rebuilt now she's looking all right I rebuilded I rebuilded the top ones on as well They're all stayed in one piece so well two big pieces so I just bedded them back on as well so I've all the floor and there's nothing wrong with it look good what I'll do now is pop the cap on and have a little tidy up happy days there we go there's that back on again so let's give this a good point up now there we go the wall all done you don't need all the king's horses, you don't need all the men, you just need Tricky Bricky to put back your wall again. <laughs> now the important bit, this is the bit which I always like to make sure as well, it's really done well. Around the back of this wall, any droppings, clear all of that up, make sure it's all gone, because no one wants to see all this stuff sitting on their flower bed, so get rid of it, into the tub and throw it away with all the other hardcore and bits and bobs. And then she knows it's all nice and tidy and her plants were getting there and then it's not contaminated as such. Lovely. So there we go, ladies and gents. All done, complete. Customer over the moon. Tricky was. Thinking to himself, what shall I charge the old girl and this and that for this. I thought, oh. What was it like 50, 60 bricks? Quickly pop them all back together again. Go and get a bit of sand. I thought, ah, oh. it's my friend's mum as well. Call it a wanna. Give us a hundred quid, darling. I'll get that sorted for you. Well, she gave me one forty. Come on, I got a little cheeky tip. <laughs> Tricky on the tip. Seven pieces of paper. With the Queen's head on. I got there at 10. And it is now 22 minutes to 1. So I've been here two and a half hours. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
another mission success, ladies and gentlemen. So if you've enjoyed that little episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, oh god, cars everywhere. <laughs> Peace out and pow. Okay, just just let's be clear here. Really? Like, Evan FC <laughs> of the club that was here first. Well, well, these the Liverpool bastards, know, right? It's That's what they are, bastards. Them, no? Okay, they are, are, are after birth. After birth. That's what them cunts are. After birth.